Hello, my beautiful starseed angels. I just wanted to make this quick message to tell you that you are going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. The light has already won. And I know that every single true teacher of the light out there is telling you this and knows this. And your heart is telling you this if you tune in. The light has won, and we will be okay. We're right in the middle of the storm. We are in the, in the thick of it. We're in the thick of it. And it's very important that we keep our vision high. Like I always say, look to that what you want, what you're striving for, what you're dreaming of. Look at your own highest timeline. Look up towards the paradise matrix. What is the paradise matrix? The paradise matrix is the true blueprint of our earth. It's the blueprint of love, of high vibrations, of unity consciousness, of divine flow, of Christ consciousness, of beautiful living, of an earth where every single one of us walks in freedom and happiness and can reach our full potential. That is the paradise matrix. And that is the true blueprint of our Mother Earth, which just has been delayed a little bit. That's how I see it. It's been delayed a little bit because there are some beings here who don't want that, but they don't have a chance. Do you really think our Mother Earth is going to <laughs> say, okay, okay, I'm just going to go down and sink into negative dimensions like Mars and Maldek and Mercury did? No, no, she's not going to do that. I'm in tune with nature with the animals, with the earth. I'm in tune with the cosmos, with my cosmic guides, with the star seeds. And there's so much support for you. There is so much support for you, my beautiful angels. There is. We have the whole force of the spiritual world at our back. We just have to look for it and see it and call it in and believe it and feel it. And every day you will feel better and better and you will rise higher if you just keep your vision up. If you do that spiritual work, and how do you do spiritual work? You observe your mind a little bit and you don't let yourself get into negative spirals. You know those negative spirals that you start talking to, oh my God, and what's going on in the government? And this is so horrible. And, ah, 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 ah. Boom, 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 boom. No, 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 no. <laughs> observe yourself a little bit. That's all. And meditation helps with that, by the way. Observe yourself. Step more into your multidimensional self, your beingness, where you are actually observing your little 3D person, walking around, what that 3D person is thinking and doing and saying from a higher perspective, because you're multidimensional, you're a beautiful, shining, starseed, light soul. Watch yourself a little bit when you see yourself going into victimhood and going into, I can't, and oh my God, what's going on? I have to do this after that. Just stop yourself for a moment and say, really? Really? Is that why I was born to be a victim? Is that the only reality there is? No, no, and it's not because you choose your own reality. You are choosing everything right now. Where you are right now is the result of what you chose to believe and do. So just choose to believe and do something different if you don't like where you are. Just do that. It's not that hard. Just keep your eyes up to the heavens, to the paradise matrix, to the vision of 5D New Earth. I'm going to link a video right here that I did a long time ago where I had visions of New Earth. And New Earth is already here. It has formed. It has formed. And if the Earth splits, if the timelines in the end have to split completely, then so be it. Let that negative heart boom, fall into the negative 4Ds, but you are not going to be on it. Make a choice not to be on it. I've chosen it. I've chosen so strong that, strongly that I will be in the higher dimensions and the higher Venus spheres split off versions of Earth. If we are splitting, we are splitting. It's not complete, but we are splitting. So it is possible to walk this 3D Earth where everything is mixed, but stand in the paradise matrix of the higher density, of the higher split off version of Earth. In the Ascension timeline, 
right? That's what we're always talking about. And you can do it because you're a beautiful earth angel. You're a star seed. You're an amazing, beautiful soul. <laughs> Have some love for yourself, some compassion for yourself, right? Say, oh, my beautiful human, it's going to be okay. I'm not going to think so many negative thoughts. I'm going to pull myself out of the matrix. We can get you there. We can get you right up there. We can do it, <laughs> right? It's going to be okay. We got this. We got this. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm already in 5D. My body is in 3D still. But my spirit, heart, and soul has mm, detached. I don't want to say detached. Okay, we are one. We're always one. But I am accessing those higher dimensions, those higher densities, and moving from a place of complete empowerment. And when the 3D gets too heavy, too thick, I just go up and I look and I'm like, okay, right? Thank you, beautiful warrior of light, part of me down there, walking around in the 3D. I got you. I got you. Okay? We're going to do this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Move forward with faith and trust, even if you don't know where you're going. But keep your eyes high on that paradise matrix. And then you will come out the other side. Ooh. That's beautiful. What was that? That was, was that a mini dragonfly who just... Look at this, look at this. Oh no, it's a it's a wasp. It's a wasp. Hello wasp, what are you telling me? It's okay. Maybe I smell good today. <laughs> that was a dragonfly. Wasp, what are you telling me, wasp? Connect to your animal beings. Pay attention. Right? Spirit is all around you in the natural world. I'm so connected to the animals now. Every single day, a big bird, a big bird, either an eagle, or a huge raven, a woodpecker, a hawk, they fly across my path, across my sight, across my car. Or they circle overhead, swoop down. Every single day they come. And now this, oh, it's a bee. It's not a wasp. It's a honeybee. The honeybee was flying around me again. Oh, <laughs> okay. You see, the animals are coming. There's signs every single day of your support. Animals are starseeds too. They're 5D, highly dimensional beings that are coming to support you. If you find a white feather, if you notice some animals, tune in. Connect to the energy. Ask, how are you supporting me? What are you telling me? What is your message? If you hear the wind in the trees, whispering, ask, what is, what is it? What are you telling me? If your spirit guides come to you, if you get insights, intuitions, if the Galactics come, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, they're all there for you to support you. They're all around us. Just open yourself up, tune in a little bit. But you got to do that first step. You got to do the work. You've got to be vigilant, not let yourself get into very negative vibrations because then you become a vibrational match to negative beings, thoughts, spells, and happenings in your life. Do not be a victim, all right? So I wanted to tell you, I love you. We will be okay. You We're going to get through this. Divine. Thank you, honeybee. What are you telling me now? <laughs> I'm going to meditate on that one a little bit. Hmm? She came in three times. Anyways, love you all. All right. Thank you. I will see you soon. Bye.